Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with Niall Rochford, who's the general manager of Ashford Castle. And if you don't know Ashford Castle, it's one of the most famous uh, castle accommodations in Ireland, and it's undergone a multi-million dollar renovation in the last five years, and we're going to learn all about that and more. I was here five years ago, and I got to tell you, it's incredibly beautiful now on Insider Travel Report. Now, Niall, uh, I was here, again, five years ago, and uh, you told me about this renovation. I didn't quite understand the extent of it, but it is amazing. Let's talk a little bit about some of the things that have been done to this castle in the last five years. Yeah, it's, it's been an amazing journey um, since 2013. Obviously, in 2013, the Toman family and Red Carnation um, Hotels purchased the property. And I always remember on the 1st of June 2013, Mr. Toman standing on the steps and saying to the staff that everybody's jobs are secure. Sure. Um, the property is now debt free and what he wanted to do was create the best hotel of its kind in the world and James I think you know uh, he's been true to his word and they've created what has been what is an exceptional exceptional property now it has always been special but now it's gone to a completely different level I, you know, when, when the Toma family and Recarnation purchased the property, the fabric of the building, first and foremost, was in a very, very poor state of repair. And I think you'll remember that. There was no air conditioning. We um, did talk about that since it was a really hot summer, if it, I recall. It, it, it really, really was. Um, so there was a, a lot had to happen. I mean, we had to strip back all the, the roofs, uh, re-lead the roofs, repoint the walls, replace 820 windows, um, and all the mechanical and electrical was replaced in the property as well. So that was the kind of boring stuff, but the really important things that had to happen. And beyond then, it was about adding um, aspects to the property that would really lift the quality of the property. So the spa, as you mentioned, has been a brilliant um, addition to the property. We also added a, a um, cinema. Of course, The Quiet Man was filmed here um, back in the 1950s, so we had to have a cinema. Um, our That's also one of your owners, Stanley Tolman's great passions is cinema. Very much it. so, and you can see you know, um, posters of Zulu, of Michael Caine, of a lot of his favorite movies there as well, but The Quiet Man is the one that we speak about most. Um, also our smoking terrace and billiards room and cigar area that's fantastic and then we redeveloped what was the old servants entrance and is now a wine cellar and that's a beautiful beautiful um, experience yeah, we experienced a nice wine tasting down there and it's a lovely area and you have a place where you can have uh, dinners and things like that right? yeah so so now you can come to Ashford Castle year round you know because Ireland just doesn't open in March and close down in October it's a great time to come uh, November December January February March as well so if the weather is a little bit inclement there's so much to do in in house as well well. But you also have other accommodations beyond the castle too, right? You have the, the lodge, right? Yeah, well, the lodge at Ashford Castle was the former estate manager's home um, back in the 1800s when the Guinness family lived here. So um, that in previous time was sold to a property developer who created a hotel. Mr. Toman and the Recarnation Hotel, hotel Collection purchased it in 2014. So we've been operating it since then. So it's now a 64 bedroom hotel. And it's, uh, it's, it's for Ashford consumers who maybe want a more relaxed, uh, um, experience and budget-wise, it's it's more in the realm of of you know a, a, a more affordable experience as well. But you still get to experience all the estate activities. But yeah, you get to come to the castle. So yeah. yeah, absolutely. So so and you can experience the castle, the dining facilities, and the spa, and everything like that. So you know, right now we have 83 bedrooms um, in the castle and 64 in the lodge. So there's there's plenty of accommodation for everybody. And then you have a new cottage uh, right out on the lake, which is a very private area. In, in fact, it is uh, gated out, and uh, it's just one bedroom room and it's the old boathouse right absolutely for, for for those guests who really want to get away from everything and everybody we have the hideaway cottage and it was the old boathouse on the estate and we've converted it into a a, a boutique kind of one bedroom um, suite uh, but you're on around an acre of ground and all you see is lock car right in front of you but you get all the facilities and you get all the services uh, of the castle as well so you know it's it's not for everybody but for those who get it for those who really want to get away from everybody everybody and everything it's wonderful well, Niall, uh, it's so different and so wonderful, but it has not really changed, which is the thing I love about it. Uh, the, the rooms that we're in here today feel very much the same, although refreshed. Right? Absolutely. And, and that was really important. And we're very, very fortunate that we have a lot of repeat business in the property. And uh, a lot of our guests were a little concerned about what was going to happen. But I think the real genius about this whole project has been that with everything that's happened with the hardware, with the building, that what we haven't lost is any of the character or even the characters of the property. So you still 
still have the likes of Martin Gibbons, whose grandfather worked here, his father worked here, uh, he's working here and his two sons are working here now as well. So that consistency is here. Uh, and those people really make real connections with our guests. And that's so, so important for us. Well, and we had Robert too, who is Robert. your, your, your uh, major D uh, wine steward, everything else, right? Absolutely. He's not backward about coming forward. Robert will, will, will speak and, and again, it's about that connection. I think that's what we're good about in Ireland, about we making genuine and real connections. And, and that's what sets us apart, I think. You know, you can talk about all the finery and all about the building, but it's the people ultimately um, that make a difference. And I think we do that quite well here at the castle. Well, Niall, it's been a fantastic stay. Uh, we're going to do another video and look for it on the experience, how to best experience this property and all the different activities you can have here. Uh, but look for that next. Uh, it's been great to come back and see it. Uh, we've been talking about this for a long time to come back and we're finally here and it's wonderful. And I'll come back in another five years and see what else you do because you've still got more going on, right? We, we certainly have. There's still, there's always something going on. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Toman and Red Carnation, they never stop, believe you me. So it, it's very exciting and it continues to, to improve and it continues to progress. But it's been great to have you, James, and we look forward to welcoming you back again. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>